Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons. This video is going to be about population genetics and here is a problem. There are two alleles, dominant allele A and recessive allele A, governing big size in population. Homozygous dominant and heterozygous individuals' bigs are 1.5 cm, while homozygous recessive individuals are 1 cm. If the frequency of the dominant allele in population is 0.25, what is the population mean, ignoring environmental effects? And here is uh, three answers to choose from. As usual, I recommend you to pause video here, try to solve this problem on your oven first. And when you would be ready, you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So, uh, in order to solve this problem, everything we have to know is Hardy-Weinberg formula knowing the frequency of two alleles in the uh, gene pool, we can find frequency of each genotype and phenotype in a population. And here is a formula. So F stands for the frequencies of three genotypes. And here is a formula. P squared plus 2PQ plus Q squared equals to 1. And of course we have two alleles, P and Q, and when we add to these alleles, we are going to get 1. You have to remember that 1 equals to 100%. We are given a frequency of the dominant allele, that is 0 0.25. In our formula, P stands for the dominant allele. So capital allele A here, and we know the frequency that is 0 0.25. And of course, we can easily find the frequency of the Q allele, that is uh, small a allele, that is going to be 0 0.75, because when we add these two numbers, we are going to get 1. So this is very easy. Now we have everything we need to solve this problem. So. Uh, how we are going to find frequency of the homozygous dominant genotype and P squared stands for the homozygous dominant genotype. We know number P and we can very easy to can find uh, P squared. So P squared would equal to 0 0.25 also squared. And the answer here going to be 0 point zero six twenty five and this is going to be homozygous dominant genotype we can put this frequency here so zero point zero six twenty five now we can find uh, frequency of the heterozygous genotype and two PQ stands for the heterozygous genotype so 2 P Q that is a heterozygous genotype would equal to 2 multiplied by number P that is 0 0.25 and by number Q that is 0 0.75 and the answer here would be 0 0.375 and this is going to be frequency of the heterozygous genotype 375 and now we can find frequency of the homozygous recessive genotype that is small a small a so q squared stands for the homozygous recessive genotype and we know number q that is 0 0.75 also we have to square this number and the answer would be 0 0.5625 we can put the frequency of this genotype here in our formula and when we add all these three frequencies as you see we are going to get one. So our calculations are correct. So all three genotypes, when we add them up, we are going to get one. 
or 100 percent. So two alleles in the gene pool can make three genotypes and uh, when we add all these three genotypes together we are going to get one or one hundred percent. And you also have to remember that these two genotypes in simple Mendelian genetics when we have one dominant and one recessive allele would make the same uh, phenotype and this uh, genotype here would make another phenotype. So we have three genotypes and only two phenotypes. So heterozygous in simple Mendelian genetics would look the same as homozygous dominant. So we have uh, homozygous dominant here and heterozygous. So we have to add these two frequencies and frequency of the dominant genotype would equal to 0 0.4375 and uh, frequency of the homozygous recessive we already have. So now we have to multiply this number by 1.5. 1.5 centimeters would make uh, would be the big size of the homozygous dominant and uh, heterozygous individuals. So this 1.5 is 1.5 centimeters. And this number represents frequency of these two genotypes that would make the same phenotype. So these individuals here would have a big uh, with 1.5 centimeters. So uh, the answer here would be 65. 625 and we have to add this number so plus 0 0.5625 and the answer would be 1.21875 1 and if we round this number to two decimal places, we are going to get 1.22 centimeters. And let's check our answers. And this is answer C. So the big size uh, of this genotype would equal to one centimeter. That's why we don't multiply this number by one, because uh, any number multiplied by one would be the same number. So here we multiply by 1.5 these two genotypes frequencies combined frequency of these two genotypes by 1.5 here we don't multiply or we can multiply by one and this is going to be the same number and then we just add uh, to these numbers uh, this is how we are going to get our final answer and this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.